Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. You already know what time it is, man. It's your boy back at it again with another banger, you heard? So, we're gonna make it simple on this episode, bro. We're gonna go ahead and paint the car. I do have some black, uh, matte black or bello black up in there that I've been having laying around for a minute. So, we're gonna go ahead and spray that and then we'll see how it looks. The whole point of this is just to make sure uh, all the body work looks good and whatnot and then we'll go from there. And then we'll talk about eventually what color we're gonna actually do the car. So let's get to it. Let's get this painting. Let's get this done. I take you to the back of the room to tell me how you feel. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so bad, she just wanna fucking smoke and pop them bills. Yeah. Hey, I take it to the back of the room. That <laughs> my test run is complete. Honestly, uh, I have some black paint just laying around there, and shit, I chose to do it. It was a mad black, um, so it don't look as bad as I thought. This was more for me to figure it out, um, how bad, like you know, my body work was or whatever. So. It's just test run, right? It's a test run, so you know what I'm saying? Stay with me, stay with me. So it doesn't look as bad. We're gonna let it dry, then we're gonna see how it looks, and then from there, you know, we're probably gonna resign the car down completely and see exactly like you know what we need to fix, get the actual paint color. Um, you know, we should be good to go, and we don't waste money just because and it's not going to end up looking ridiculous yeah so i mean i just have to like i said i just have the black paint there so i was like you know what might as well go ahead and spray it see how it looks it's nothing serious obviously i didn't do the front of the windshield for for the same reason because it's just a test run you know what i'm saying this is for us to just see how our body work look you know all of the paint holes and whatnot so we'll go from there um i am going to mess around with some uh with some pigment i'm finna order right now and then we might throw some pigment over this black just to see how it looks so hopefully it look good you never know you'll be surprised so if we can pick it out and make it look good so be it we will leave it for a few days uh for a week or so then we sign it down and complete the paint color we want on the car so <sighs> let's see how it looks i'm gonna wait for a little bit till it dry then I'm gonna start doing a little bit of inspection and see how it looks. Made it to Hobby, uh, Hobby Lobby. We went to, what store we went to? Michael's. We went to Michael's and uh, they have some colors that I like, but I'm not sure. But this is a color, go ahead and show y'all. Uh, so they have this green one. It looks really good. I also had this purple one, but I'm not sure um, what color should we, no, not go. So what color should we do this green one? They do have some more over there, they just said so. Yeah, this black one. Yeah, the car is already black, so that ain't gonna make that ain't gonna work. So we take this one and see. I made it over here. I went ahead and sanded a few parts that were uh, we had the clear coat shipping, and um, we painted it already. So we're gonna let that dry. After we do that, uh, we might need to wet sand on top of the trunk and right here a little bit because you can see little tape marks here and there. Other than that. It's pretty smooth, you, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty smooth. Um, paint is drying pretty good everywhere, so we don't have to really worry about anything else after that. Um, I'm debating if I wanna do a, like a little nice wet sand all around and then throw the clear. Let me explain. So I wasn't, I really wasn't going to do this personally uh, because this was more to see you know how my body work uh was looking and it started looking a little good i'm not gonna cap and then i was like shit you know what let me go ahead and just spray the whole car with this black i had a little bit left i wanted about a little quart just to finish whatever needed to be finished and to have some for the two bumpers so once i fix the bumpers and uh, figure out what i'm gonna do with this guy right here I'm gonna go ahead and paint them both. So back to this. Um, so what we're gonna do is this, it's simple. Y'all seen I went to the store 
and grab the pigment. Uh, it might look really good. It might not come out pretty good as well, but let me go ahead and show y'all. So this is pigment. Um, it is uh, dual green yellow. Not sure what is it gonna what is it gonna come out to be. This is more of a experiment, you know what I'm saying? And then truthfully, it just for me to just have the card uh, one color till we get to where we need to go to do the actual color that I want. Obviously, for that, I need to have the card complete. You know what I'm saying? I need to have the card. Um, Complete with the hood, literally everything else. Uh, the target top that I'm gonna do, so I can so I can run them both ways. Once I have all of that, then we're gonna go ahead and do the actual color that I want to do. You feel me? Matte black or whatever. That's the reason why we went and got the clear and we got the pigment, so we can uh, you know spread it over this. Probably two teaspoons of these, so. Yo, look at these fellas. Man, just look at this. First coat is down to clear. Yo. Yo, look at that, bro. I'm telling you. It's kind of like the green I was trying to go for. Obviously, it's only the first uh, layer. So we're gonna do like two more coats. So we're gonna do one more coat of the, with the pigment and one sealer coat just with clear itself. So, but man. Man, oh man. Oh my goodness. See, we missed a spot right here. We gotta put some more right there on the second round. And we should be good with a little right here. But other than I, oh my, oh my goodness. I struggle right here because I don't know. It's so, it's so awkward. So for me to do it, but I'm just gonna do one hand going this way and hopefully it comes out better but hey look it's my first time i'm fucking with this i actually de left tape mark on there i forgot so kind of just sprayed over but you know we'll get there we'll figure it out eventually so but for the most part shit looks amazing so let me see how long i gotta wait for the second coat then we're gonna do one good hand just so clear She's so bad, just wanna fucking smoke and pop them pills. I make a lot of hints, one day they gon' worth a meal. I see it, I want it, I get it, who gives a damn about a bill? I take it in the back of the room, now tell me how you feel. She's so bad, she just wanna fucking smoke and pop them pills. I make a lot of hints, one day they gon' worth a meal. I see it, I want it, I get it, who gives a damn about I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm out of the stratosphere. She told me I'm faded. Real end is done. Um, remember, we fixed this out of the bumper, obviously. Um, I should have measured the bumper uh, with everything on before we, before we finish. But you can see right here how it's a little bit out. So I'm taking a guess that the bumper came like that because all I did was add the little piece that it was missing. And yeah, literally, look at that. So. You can see the outer part, like, and it's good right here until it gets like somewhere right here. So, and you see the other side, it's literally perfect. So, yeah, it's kind of irritated about that. Um, the bumper had a lot of like defects, some of the stuff that I fixed. Like, you can see this little line mark right here. Um, what else? There's another one right here. Obviously, if you don't see it from afar, you're not gonna notice any of that. You have one right here. Um, you know, and it's little stuff like that, to be honest, so, 
other than that, you, you will never notice, you know, any issues. Thank God I got this color, Chris. Uh, this color pigment, because he helped a lot to hide a lot of the imperfections. So, dear 350C owners and people to sell parts, can we stop? Can we normalize not pricing the fuck out of this parts of a 2007 8 car? Like it's a 2024. Please stop this shit. That shit is not that damn expensive. We just don't like to wait for the part. We're too impatient to wait for this bitch. So, please stop, man. For real. Real talk, bro. Like, it's, it has to stop. <laughs> it has to stop. This part price is just getting crazy. You might as well get this shit brand new. Everything's completely done. Still got it. Uh, sound down the car with 2,000 grid and 3,000 so we can uh buff the car out but so far man so good we got a lot of uh issues here and there but obviously it's our first time painting so i'm not mad at myself it is what it is it looked better than i expected but here you go man this looks too, way too good man for real if y'all like the vi if i like this video man hit the thumbs up hit the like button do all of that good stuff subscribe man because we coming out with bangers next video we're going to be completing the manual swap on the z once we do the manual swap, then we'll move on to the target top. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. And I'll see you on the next one.